Welcome to another segment on international business, marketing, and strategy for audiences within and outside of Georgetown University. My name is Professor Michael Tsenkota, and I'm joined today by my dear, long-standing colleague, Professor Ibrahim Owais, who is Professor Emeritus here at Georgetown University, where he had been teaching many decades worth of students, but he has also been teaching in Qatar, and he has been, uh, he, he was the ambassador of Egypt to the United Nations uh, some years ago. He has just now returned from Egypt, where he was present at Tahrir Square, uh, at Liberation Square, where all the societal transformation happened. And he addressed more than a million people with his thoughts, ideas, and his call to action. So welcome, Professor Owais. It's such a distinct, distinct pleasure to have you back. Uh, it's a great pleasure to see you again and to be at Georgetown University that I had the pleasure of teaching ever since 1967. And one of my students at that time was Bill Clinton. Look at that. <laughs> um, and you, you, in terms of economy, you did a good job with him. Uh, absolutely. He, in fact, had a special um, uh, reception for me at the Oval Office before he left uh, in uh, 2000 uh, in order to speak about the, my impact on him in the field of economics. And I was very touched. How, how delightful. I'm, I'm, I'm sh I'm, it shows that he had good taste. Yeah, thank you. Um, Professor Owais, tell us a little bit about what's going on in Egypt right now. We obviously, as a business school, we also are interested in the business implications, but what's, what's the uh, scenario in, in uh, the Middle East in general and Egypt in specific? It is, history is in the making of Egypt for the time being in every respect. And therefore, to change uh, a system or an administration that had been ruling in Egypt for the last 30 years with all of its corruption and with the absolute power, as Shakespeare said, corrupt, uh, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And this is actually what happened after so many years. So the biggest um, advantage is that re the removal of that particular regime uh, from Egypt. Uh, however, there are some negatives, and that is the lack of discipline now, the lack of stability, the adjustment. The adjustment period will take some time, and I will be talking about business now later on when you address this issue. So. Uh, Egypt now is undergoing a period of adjustment that may take a year or two until the election takes place and uh, the new president will come in. Uh, uh, but I wanted to finish with this by saying that uh, the positives in the case of Egypt is definitely by far better than the negatives. Now, Professor Owais, there have been all these things happening within a relatively very short time. And it's, of course, not just Egypt. It's the entire Middle East, which, which is engulfed by new thinking, new directions. How come this is all happening now? Uh, it's always uh, an example. An example happened in Tunisia uh, first, and when uh, Ben Ali was removed, and in fact he escaped, that gave the power for the Egyptian to do it because things had been accumulating. It is not only really a one minute in time, but it has been accumulating. But, but there is always the straw that can break the camel's back. Uh, and the events that one event would lead to the other. So it is not only Tunisia. It is not only Egypt. It is not only Yemen. It is not only Bahrain. Uh, it is not only Algeria, but uh, it's not only Morocco. 
it really covers the entire Middle East and North African countries. So are we going to wind up with an entirely new uh, framework uh, in, the, in the region? I think this, I, the, this would be a real turning point in the history of the Middle East. Now, from looking from the outside in, a lot of companies, of course, see the Middle East as an important area to invest in, an important area to collaborate. Uh, are you seeing any setbacks there? What, what's the future going to look like when it comes to business, international business? Uh, on the one hand, the lack of stability now uh, creates, of course, an environment that would be not be conducive for investment. However, the uh, business opportunities now would be greater than ever before because uh, of the uh, feeling and knowing that corruption is no longer the motto in Egypt. You don't have to bribe in order to be able to do something or another. And therefore, uh, opportunities or investment opportunities, in my opinion, would be much greater once the course of uh, of uh, stability uh, uh, st uh, sets in, and it is going to set in within probably a year from now. Now, many have told us that the role of social media has been very important in terms of communication and in terms of revolutionary fervor. How do you see social media uh, in the context of the Middle East? It is, uh, it is that social media that made people, uh, in fact, connect with one another, react, and uh, 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 motive, be self-motivating uh, to uh, many of them. And, and it is going to play also a very important role in business as well, because uh, people will know very quickly where the business opportunities are. Now, Professor Owais, I know that you're getting ready to pack your bags to go back to Egypt and meet with the president? Uh, no, uh, the president is no longer there. It's not, it's not there, there yet, but to meet with the prime minister. With the prime minister uh, who, who looks forward to your sage advice and counsel, mm -hmm. what will be the key advice that you will offer? What are the most, what's the most important thing for the next few years? Uh, to learn from the mistakes of the past and uh, to create an environment in conducive for investment and for attraction, for attracting investments. So to some degree even, like President Obama's motivation, jobs, 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 will, will that carry over oh, into Egypt? De definitely, because uh, Egypt now is, uh, uh, has um, an employment uh, uh, high, uh, official statistics, uh, say about 12%, uh, uh, in my opinion, is more than that. Uh, and with the uh, disruption that had happened as a result of the Egyptian revolution, uh, unemployment had increased. And therefore, the uh, 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 attracting investment, attra investment is the backbone for the creation of jobs is important. Now, for someone who wants to study abroad, is Egypt the right place right now? Uh, absolutely. It's, a, it's a, an example uh, that uh, many young people are um, uh, looking forward to be involved with and to get the experience from. Professor, Ambassador Ibrahim Owais, thank you so very much for coming. And thank you for paying attention to another session on thoughts on international business, strategy, and marketing. I'm Professor Michael Tsinkota, and hope you join us soon again.